Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm in the beautiful city of Antigua, Guatemala, and I'm here to tell you everything you need to know before visiting. Number one is you need to have an umbrella during the rainy season. Okay, we had to go back home because we forgot our umbrellas, and of course now it stopped raining, okay? Number two, check out the floor. Okay, get you some mom style white sneakers to go with all your outfits and so you don't hurt your feet on these on this floor okay all right let's continue all right next one is there's poop everywhere you need to watch out for the poop okay especially if you got your mom sneakers so yes watch out for the poop next thing is don't be afraid of the stray dogs they're very friendly my sister is terrified of them say hi <laughs> but they're pretty friendly Next tip guys is that the streets are narrow. So you're gonna have to move to the side when somebody is trying to pass coming this way. <laughs> so just be aware of that. The next thing guys, there are sellers, vendors all over Antigua um, selling anything from keychains to mangoes to ice cream to fabric, cotton candy, just about anything you can think of they're all over and on top of that these vendors are so persistent Try anything. Sinet buying something from somebody's car you know say hi Sinet. so if you're staying in the center of antigua you can pretty much walk to any of the tourist sites but there are three different um modes of transportation i want to tell you about the chicken bus which is probably um the most ex inexpensive then you have the tuk-tuk and then you have uber which you can easily call on your phone and don't worry it's super inexpensive next thing guys you cannot drink the water in guatemala so to save money find out if your airbnb has a natural filter like the one behind me i'll show you it in a second or you're just gonna have to buy bottled water so here it is it's the natural filter and here's the instructions you can pause and read it not instructions here's the history behind it you can pause and read it, but here's how it looks. It's filtering through this stone. Right here, here's the water. You put the water in here. And I'm assuming there's like a space here filled with the filtered water and it comes out here. Next thing guys, you cannot put paper down the toilet bowl. You're gonna have to take your toilet paper and there's always a little garbage next to the toilet where you can put it in. I've seen this at restaurants and at my Airbnb here. I don't know about the fancy hotels, but I know for sure at the Airbnbs, you cannot flush it. And this Airbnb costs a little bit more than the other Airbnbs. So I'm assuming that most of the Airbnbs will have this situation. This is what I'm talking about. Here's a little garbage for you to put the toilet paper in. Next guys, I have to say my favorite thing about Antigua is the variety of restaurants. You have your fancy schmancy expensive restaurants, your mid-range restaurants, and, and then your budget restaurants. So whatever amount of money you have to spend, you will find somewhere to eat in Antigua. Our favorite places to eat was more local places like what Guatemalan people would eat at and it was just so much fun discovering those places and just mingling with the locals and when eating at local places the prices aren't as high so we would pay about 35 dollars for all four of our meals including drinks and probably dessert guys there is the corner store right there and check out these mountains Next thing guys, there are bodegas on just about every other block selling anything from pads, soaps, snacks, ice cream, just about anything you would need. All right guys, I'm back in my Airbnb right now and I wanna let you know the next tip is that a lot of the Airbnbs do not have AC because a lot of the time during the year, the weather is cool and you don't need AC. So when you're doing your search, just make sure that your Airbnb, the Airbnb you're interested in has an AC, but to be honest, you don't really need it. All right, the next tip I wanna give you guys is that you might experience a blackout. So um, this is a really nice Airbnb and it's more on the higher end, but we still experienced a blackout. Actually, we were in a restaurant and there was a blackout. I still don't even know why, <laughs> what was the cause of the blackout. I didn't know Antigua gets blackouts, but yeah, 
prepare for that. Maybe you can find out from your Airbnb or hotel if they have any um, generators to bring the power back on. Who knows? The thing is with this Airbnb, when the power came off, our internet was still working. I guess they have some kind of system. I don't know, but just be prepared for that. You might experience a blackout. Yeah. Next thing guys, I found Guatemalan people to be super helpful and friendly and open, but you are going to need to learn some Spanish, at least the basics, at least learn how to order some food because English isn't as spoken so much as in other countries. So be sure to brush up on your Spanish. Hope this helped. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.